back to Empower In. I'm Carolyn Porter Thomas. Thank you so much for watching. So I have a video request from Fatima Hamid, who said, can you do a video on your experience of being an agency nurse? I'm a CNA at a nursing home and other CNAs have said there's a, they've had a lot of bad experiences. Fatima, thank you so much for your video request. I definitely have a lot of information that I could share with you on what it's like being an agency nurse. I have been an agency nurse for about four years and there's definitely some advantages and disadvantages of being an agency nurse. And it kind of just depends on what you want to do and where you see your life um, headed. And um, I'll give you my feeling on what advantages and disadvantages are and you can go from there. So the first advantage of being an agency nurse is that you do make a little bit more money per hour. So on average, I would just guesstimate to say that an agency nurse probably makes about six to ten dollars more than the average nurse per hour. Now to make up for that, agency nurses do not get health insurance. And I've had a lot of agency um, agencies tell me that they make up for this not having health insurance for us by giving us extra money. And we're kind of expected to buy health insurance ourselves. The next advantage is definitely time. You get um, to choose when you want to work. Now when you work for a unit, they obviously need people that they can count on. So they have to always make sure that the unit has proper staffing and sometimes that means you not getting you know, to have the days off that you need or want and they usually have requirements on holidays and weekends and stuff like that. So as an agency nurse, you usually don't have any of those limitations. Um, although if you do work per diem, I know for some hospitals, they do have some of those limitations. But with most agency nurses, you pretty much work when you want. As long as the hospital needs you, you're usually able to work. Another advantage is you definitely get a lot more experience. So when you work on one unit with just one specialty, very rarely will you see anything outside of that specialty. Although, of course, it does happen. But as an agency nurse, you kind of never know where you're going to be or where you're going to end up or what kind of unit or you know anything like that. So as long as you're open, you can get so much experience and I think it's pretty exciting actually. Also an advantage is you learn how to be extraordinarily resourceful and have much better communication. So when I say resourceful, it means I used, you know, going into a supply room, this is just one example, but going into a supply room um, can be very intimidating because you have, you know, I'll need flushes. And I'll walk into a supply room and it's so big and I just have to look everywhere. The easiest thing for me to do would be to find somebody to help me find something and I will do that if I absolutely have to. But I've learned just to, you know, ways to look at everything and spot things very quickly. So that's one way I've learned how to be very resourceful. Another thing that being an agency nurse has helped me do is really help build my communication skills. Um, before I started becoming an agency nurse, I definitely was probably a little bit more quiet, um, but I feel like as an agency nurse, you have to basically establish yourself as a team member with very little time. So when you work on a, on an, on a unit for a while, you have time to build relationships and you know build history with people, but as an agency nurse, I might need help from pretty much everybody and I have to find ways to um, have people help me but also you know feel good about it too so I think when you communicate effectively to other people then especially as an agency nurse you can definitely be much happier on the job because you really need other people as a nurse like there's just no way around it you can't do everything that you have to do by yourself especially as you know, when it comes to helping patients get bathed or helping them to the bathroom or things like that. Like, you know, you're only one person and many of us are very small, so it's all about teamwork. So the disadvantages of being an aging nurse are, first of all, if the hospital does not need you, you don't work. And when you don't work, you don't get paid. That sounds like common sense, but actually it's not. Um, when you work for a hospital, they have what's called PTO or paid time off. So if the hospital doesn't need you, they can call you off. So that means you don't go to work, but you'll still get paid. So some people will get upset with this though because that actually cuts into their vacation hours. But ultimately, it means that you can still be at home and still get paid. And these hours I found accrued very quickly. Um, I was I thought you know that I got a lot of vacation time. It felt 
it felt like I would get about maybe three weeks a year off, which I thought was pretty good. And that, and keep in mind, you only work three days per week, so you know it's, it's pretty sweet. The other thing that a lot of people don't like with being an agency nurse is that you work at different places all the time. So the way my day goes is like this. I say that I want to work at this particular hospital and I might you know, call them the day before or the week before and I'm talking about my agency, I might call my agency the day before or the week before. So what happens is if that particular hospital does not need me, my agency basically calls me at 4.30 a.m. That's when things get started. So they say, you were canceled at this hospital, would you like to go to this hospital, they have a shift open. Or they could say, you were canceled, we don't have any other shifts available, we will call you if something opens up. So you're getting this call at 4.30 in the morning. At the time that they call you, you have the choice to say yes or no. Yes, I want to go back to bed, or yes, I want to work. So you kind of have to decide when you're like very, very tired, you're still asleep, and you're getting that call very early in the morning. So ideally, the hospital that was your first choice has a shift available for you, and you, be, you get to wake up at the regular time that you would wake up, which is still really early, but it's a little bit later than 4.30 in the morning, and you go to that hospital. So when you go to the hospital, you go to the nursing supervisor's office and you find out where you are assigned. So when you find out where you're assigned, then you go to that unit. Now, this is actually very hard when you don't know where the hospital is, you don't know the unit, you don't know any of the people on the unit. So I would say the first six months to a year of being an agency nurse is very hard. Another thing that's really hard with being an agency nurse is a lot of times you will get the hardest patient or the hardest assignment. Now I find that most of the charge nurses are pretty fair, but at the same time I'm kind of understanding of the fact that if there is a, a patient that complains a lot or is very needy and all of the other nurses on the unit have already had them, then they might say, you know, I don't, everyone's saying that, you know, and I know that this is terrible to kind of, you know, say, but this does happen if all the nurses are saying, you know, I just need a break from that patient and you're the only one coming in that doesn't know the patient, you'll probably get assigned that patient. Um, but for me, I think it's okay, like, if everybody needs a break from them, I'm only going to be there for one day, I'll go ahead and take it. Another disadvantage is that you don't get health insurance. Um, me personally, I, that's kind of a no-brainer for me. I'm going to have health insurance no matter what. Um, it wasn't until I got married and my husband had health insurance that I even thought about becoming an agency nurse. So here's a few things that I did before I ever decided to become an agency nurse. And that was the first thing that I did was I made sure I had health insurance, just like I just men mentioned. So I married a man with benefits. No, I'm just kidding. I did, that's not why I married him. The other thing that I did was I also made sure that I had a nest egg of about six months worth of pay, just to make sure that if I wasn't able to work, that I still was able to eat. And the other thing that we did was my husband and I, we made sure that if worst case scenario, I wasn't able to work and then I had to find a job, that we would be okay. So we are able and we have all of our bills, you know, kind of organized in the way that if I don't get work, we'll still be okay. I also think it's really important to be flexible when you're an agency nurse. So I know a few nurses who have children and their biggest complaint was when trying to arrange babysitters because obviously as a nurse we work three days per week but they don't need the babysitter all of those days so they would schedule themselves for one or two days and then they would get called off those days and for me it's not such a big deal because I would just schedule myself for another day but if they had to arrange babysitters and it was really hard to um, rearrange and they had to cancel on the sitter then it, compl it does create a lot of problems for them. When I first started as an agency nurse, I definitely started part-time. I had my full-time job and then about one extra day a week, I just started working as an agency nurse. And um, like I said, it's a pretty rough transition. What you have to do is you basically have to establish yourself to the nursing supervisors and to the staff. And until they know you're good, then they won't request you. Um, but Having them know that you're good takes time, and unfortunately a lot of times when they're, they're, you're new and they don't know your name, but yet there's other people on the list that they know, they'll choose other people that they know over you that they don't know. And um, so it is kind of a hard start, but 
if you keep going um, and you can get past that rough period, and like I said, I wouldn't recommend just going full in and starting on as an agency nurse like with, with nothing else, I would probably start part time. Then um, it can be really good, but it does take time. So now that I've been an agency nurse for almost four years, I don't think I could ever go back. Um, I love the variety. I love going to different units. Um, one of the best things that I love is that because I work on units all, all over in the hospital, I know people from all over the hospital. So when I'm walking down the hallways, I'm always waving at people because I know like everybody because I worked in every unit. So. I definitely um, also like the flexibility, like I'm available Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and you know that's it. And also, um, there's certain times of the year when my husband has a lot of business trips and you know I like to go with him, so I don't really have to call off or try to find people to cover for me. So for me, it's definitely been a wonderful thing. Um, I know a lot of people who are also agency nurses and they love it too. So it's just something that is really interesting that we get to think about as nurses and it's another opportunity that you have open to you with your nursing degree. So um, if you're watching this as a nursing student, keep going strong because there's a lot you have to look forward to. And if you're a nurse, then you might want to consider working as an agency nurse. So alright guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what other videos you want to see and I cannot wait to see you again soon. Bye!